Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel where today we're going going through another week in brew view and it was an okay week for Milwaukee we're going three and three with a series loss against the division rival Cardinals and a series win against the Oakland Athletics and the Brewers last appearance in Oakland before the A's are moving to Sacramento last year next year so not the best week but also not the worst week ever kind of like coming coming down from a high from the previous week of baseball that the Brewers did but still playing really good baseball for Milwaukee so let's go ahead and break down each of the games here starting with game one of the St. Louis series where the Brewers beat the Cardinals three to two start off in the top of the second with a Sal Freelich single scored in Willie Adamas and Jory T single in Freelich in the fifth and William Contreras doubled in Mitchell in the eighth inning for a three nothing Milwaukee lead and then Matt Carpenter hit a two run bomb to get the game within one but that was the end of the scoring for St. Louis as the Brewers won 3-2. For the Brewers, Terang went 1-3, for three, Mitchell 1-4, for four, Contreras 3-4 for four with an RBI, Freelich 2-4 for four with an RBI, and Ortiz 1-4 for four with an RBI. Contreras got his 33rd double, Freelich got his 4th triple of the year, and Freelich got his 16th steal of the year as well. Frankie Montas was incredible, going 7 scores in his game, with 1 hit, had 1 walk, 3 strikeouts. Nick Mir struggled going two-thirds of an inning, giving up three hits, two earned runs, one strikeout, one home run. Jerry Canning went a third of an inning with a strikeout. And Devin Williams, it was scary, with an inning with two hits, one walk, but had three strikeouts to preserve the victory for Milwaukee, giving him his fifth save of the year. Then game two of the series of Brewers lost 10-6 in extra innings. Started off with a Tommy Pham sacrifice fly and a Mason win single for a 2-0 St. Louis lead. The Brewers jumped up to a 4-2 lead with a Jory Ortiz sacrifice fly, a William Contreras double, and a Churio single for a 4-2 lead. Then Luke Baker hit a two-run shot for a 4-4 tie game. Top of the eighth, Ortiz doubled in two runs for a 6-4 lead, but then bottom of the ninth inning was a struggle fest for Devin Williams as he should not have been out there really. Carpenter walked walked, and Pham walked for a tie game 6-6 in the bottom of the 10th inning and Trevor McGill's first action back. Nolan Arenado hit a walk-off grand slam for the final score of 10-6. For the Brewers, Tarango went 1-5. for five. Churio 4-5 for five with a, two RBIs. Contreras 2-4 for four with an RBI. Black 1-3. for three. Freelich 2-5. for five. And Ortiz 1-3 for three with a, three RBIs as well. Contreras got his 34th double. Ortiz has 18th double. Churio got his second triple of the year. And also got his 18th stolen base of the year. Myers went four innings, giving him six hits, two earned runs, two walks, five strikeouts. Joe Ross went two scores innings with two strikeouts. Hudson inning with two earned runs and a strikeout. Pyam scores inning with a walk and a strikeout. Devin Williams, two thirds of innings, giving him one hit, two earned runs, three walks, two strikeouts. And McGill got the third loss of the year, going two thirds of innings, giving him one hit, four runs, three earned, two walks, and the grand slam. Then the Cardinals beat the Brewers 3 0. In the finale of the series, all coming into seventh one with a Contreras walk, a Donovan Fielder's choice, and an Arenado single for a three nothing victory. For the Brewers, Churio went one for four, Contreras one for three, Mitchell one for four for the only hits of the game. Churio has his 18th double of the season. Freddie Peralta actually pitched pretty well, went five scores innings, giving up three hits, two walks, two strikeouts. Caning won the scores inning with a strikeout. Mears picked up the loss, going two thirds of an inning, giving up three hits. Three runs, three of them earned with a walk. And Wilson went one and a third scores innings, giving up three hits and one walk. Then the Brewers were off to Oakland, where they beat the A's 11-3 in game one of the series. Started off with a Lawrence Butler solo shot for a one nothing Oakland lead. But then the Brewers just came right back, had a three-run blast by Reese Hoskins, a solo shot by Joey Ortiz, a Churio single for a 5-1 lead. Churio doubled 6-1 Milwaukee and purchased an infield single for a 7-1 Milwaukee lead. A's got two runs back in the fourth with a Hernandez walk and a Butler ground out. But then in the ninth inning, Gary Sanchez somehow managed to get a triple and scored in a three runs. And then Reese Costa took a sacrifice fly for the final score of 11-3. For the Brewers, Churio 2-5 for five with an RBI. Perkins 2-5. for five. Contreras 1-4. for four. Adamas 1-3. Sanchez 2 for 4 with 3 RBIs. Hoskins 1 for 4 with a home run, 4 RBIs. Ortiz 2 for 5 with a home run and RBI. Monasterio 1 for 5. And Freelich 2 for 4. Perkins got his 9th double. Freelich got his 15th double. And Truro got his 19th double of the year. Sanchez got his first triple of the season. 
Austin's got his 21st home run, and Ortiz got his ninth home run of the year as well. Aaron Savali went four innings, getting a four hits, three earned runs, four walks, three strikeouts. Hudson picked up his sixth win of the year, going two scores innings with a strikeout. Payam scores inning with a strikeout. McGill scores inning with a strikeout. And Joe Ross went a scores inning as well. The Brewers won game two of the series 9-5 to five over the A's. Start off with a J.J. Boulay solo shot for Oakland for a 1-0 lead. Then the Brewers scored five runs between the second and fifth innings with a Garrett Mitchell ground out, a Blake Perkins infield single, and a Jackson Churio walk, and then Jake Bowers did a two-run shot for a 5-1 Milwaukee lead. The A's got within one with a Brent Rooker two-run shot and a Cameron double for a 5-4 Milwaukee lead. Then the Brewers just came out in the eighth and ninth innings with a Garrett Mitchell double, a William Contreras ground out, a Churio single, and a Hoskins single for a five, for 9-4. And Rooker hit a single in the bottom of the ninth to get with him another run, but the final score was 9-5. to five. For the Brewers, Terang went 1-5, for five. Churio 1-4 for four with the RBI, Contreras 0-5 for five with the RBI, Adamas 2-3, for three. Bowers 1-3 for three with a home run, 2 RBIs, Hoskins 2-5 for five with the RBI, Mitchell 2-5 for five with 2 RBIs, Perkins 1-4 for four with the RBI as well. Terang got his 18th double, Mitchell got his 8th double, Bowers got his 11th home run of the season, and Adamas got his 14th steal. Colin Ray picked up his 12th win on the season, going six and two thirds innings. Gave it eight hits, four earned runs, five strikeouts. Canning won a third of an inning with a hit, a walk, and a strikeout. Piap scores inning with a strikeout, and Wilson Wilson won the inning, giving a three hits and one earned run and a strikeout. But the Brewers were unable to complete the sweep, losing Game Three of the series four to three. Started off with a Gary Sanchez two run home run for a two nothing Milwaukee lead. Then there was four runs by the. A's in the bottom of the fourth with a Langoliers walk, a Brown single, a Cameron sacrifice fly, and a Galoff sacrifice fly. Willie Domas homer in the top of the seventh to bring the Brewers within a run, but fell four to three. For the Brewers, Tarango went one for four. Adamas one for four with a home run and an RBI. Freelick one for four. Sanchez one for two with a home run, two RBIs. And that was it for the Brewers offense. Sanchez had his ninth home run of the year, and Adamas had his 23rd home run of the year. Frankie Montas picked up the loss going six innings, you know, five hits, four earned runs, two walks, seven strikeouts. But this was a game where the um, uh, home plate umpire was very wild on both sides, costing Montas some walks there and some unfortunate situations as well. Aaron Ashby, in his first game up after being a triple A for a bit, went two scores innings with a walk and two strikeouts. So good to see him play well in his first game back. I don't know. Something happened. There we go. Oh, sorry about that. The computer just for, for freaked out on me. So for the Brewers right now, currently sitting at 75 and 55, 10 games ahead of Chicago for the division lead, and then 10 and a half over St. Louis, 12 and a half over Cincinnati, and 13 and a half over Pittsburgh. And currently still fighting with the Dodgers and Phillies for that first round bye, but we'll see if they get up there and get there. I don't think they will personally, but if you look at the schedule for the next few weeks, it is pretty favorable for Milwaukee. We have a three-game set against San Francisco, have running 500. Four-game set against Cincinnati. Three-game set against St. Louis. Three-game set against Colorado. And a three-game set against San Francisco again. But then we got three really hard series in a row with at Arizona. Home versus Philly, which might be deciding if we get that first round by or not. Home versus Arizona. And then at Pittsburgh, at New York. So we're getting down to the wire here. But the Brewers are playing way better than I expected. I think... Heading into the year, they were like over under was like 76 wins for the team. I should have put money down on that because it is the end of August and they're already at that. And they got a favorable schedule down the stretch too. So we'll see how the Brewers do. I think they're playing really, really well. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.